Let's take a little bit of a closer look at the snaps that we have available to use now. By default, my draft site program opened up with just the eSnap selected. And what this does is it snaps to the significant points on a shape. So if I draw a line like this, and I go to make another line, I can snap to things like the endpoint, a midpoint, and basically use that to my advantage to position different shapes and features very precisely. There are some other cool tools we can use as well. The E-Track basically predicts where you're going to be going. So let's check that out. So if you see here, we have a couple dashed lines that show up. Um, and these are basically coming off in significant directions. So you could snap to the horizontal axis or the vertical axis. You could even snap to 45 degrees. And what else is really cool is let's say you want to snap to the same the same plane that a, po a significant point is on. You can snap to that point and then once it recognizes the snap slowly move your mouse away and if you could see it I know it's kind of hard to see there's a little red X by my cursor that's showing that there's an intersection with that tracked line that isn't really there but showing up as a dashed line and the point that I'm going to be drawing so this line I just this point I just placed is on the same axis, the same plane as this point over here, which is pretty cool. We can also use ortho. And what this will do is only allow us to create lines in the vertical and horizontal axis. So you're going to be along X or Y no matter where you position your mouse. So go ahead and try that out, and if you can see, no matter where I position my mouse, until I get almost vertical, the line doesn't appear, and it only shows up along our primary axes. This is also really helpful for when you're making different views, which we'll get to later, and creating lines that are vertically down and creating reference geometry. Those are the three significant snaps that are most common to use. If you want, you could play around with some of the other buttons and see what they do. But for now, just focus on using those three buttons to help you create your board.